guys, welcome to the vlog. We're at Fitness 19 today because we came here to, to study the laws of, of Newton. Hey, Newton knew what he was talking the, about. The great Newton knew what he was talking about when he was talking about. about. I'm inertia. Range of motion? Come on now. He's talking about what's, bench. What's the other one? What's the other one? I don't even know. Law of acceleration or something? Law of acceleration? Come on, Come on, come on. Come on. What's the other about one? We're about to educate y'all real quick. We're about to educate y'all real quick. Let me show you. Yeah, right. for every action, there's an equal, equal or opposite reaction. Okay. So we're going to show you through our workout routine and how that correlates to the Look Newton's laws. Well, first we're doing some bench. Let's get into that. Find my max. Weapon? I need to find my max. You're gonna warm up with the water. All right. Oh, I need my notes. <laughs> Easy. Easy. All right, so y'all know for bench, right? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You feel me? So when I'm repping out 225 in that video, I'm pushing 225 pounds of force. I'm push actually I'm pushing greater than that, you feel me? But the bench is also pushing 225 pounds of force on me. You feel me? Up, up, down, up, down, up, down. For deadlift, an object out of motion is gonna remain out of motion until acted upon by an external force, you feel me? But if that external force is not greater, it's not gonna get out of motion, you feel me? You got that! What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> hey, you're here. How do you think you weren't able to pull through that deadlift? How did you fail? Well, if you studied Newton's laws, the law of um, acceleration actually states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force applied and uh, inversely proportional to its mass. So because I wasn't applying 405 pounds of force, the acceleration didn't go anywhere, you feel me? But if I were to do something lower, like 315, and apply 315 pounds of force, then it would move, you know? It would move the acceleration. And do you understand? I'm sorry, I'm really in the middle of this chest pain. I don't know why you came up to me. Ask someone else. Oh, my bad. All right, I'll ask someone else. Yeah, be gone. All right, y'all, so next we're gonna do a few guns. You already know what it is. We're working back today, y'all. <laughs> They're like lap pull downs, right? You know, that's like the same concept, you feel me? It was out of motion. We you know we pulled it down with the greater force, you feel me? And then it was in motion again, you feel me? Like, what can I say? Imagine you're pulling with your elbows. The myth, the legend. Uh, Doing lap pull downs right here. I have to rep this out. At Fitness 19. Oh, it's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Big Chris and Lane Houston. This is lightweight to her. Oh, she's not even trying. <laughs> dude, you have one more on you, dude. Hut! Hut! Yeah! I'll make it funny, dude. I'm actually trying to. I'm actually trying to get these games. <laughs> the the games are. proportional to the level of output of our force. There's, the games are serious here, guys. <laughs> this stuff's serious, y'all. All right, y'all. Right, that was the end of our video. As you can see, it's already been a few days. We're back in class now, unfortunately. But um, I hope you guys learned a lot about Newton's laws from that. About um. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I didn't blow my notes again. Can you guys hear speaking? As you might have noticed, that we're in a different outfit now, in a different scenery. We took a moment to reassess our notes. Um, we're gonna check the audio now, so you're gonna see a second cut. So don't mind me, please. After that brief little cut, we're now going to begin talking about you know, Newton's laws. The third law is, you know, the law of action, reaction. For every action, there's an equal and opposing reaction. So when I'm benching 225, I'm actually exerting 225 pounds of force on the bar to push it upwards. However, at the same time, the bar is actually exerting 225 pounds of force on me. And that is the third law. So, if you guys want to study up physics, you know, just head to the gym, do some bench. Okay, so Newton's second law is the law of acceleration. Now that actually states that, you know, the acceleration of an object is actually directly proportional to the net force applied. So when I'm repping out deadlifts, you know, if I'm doing 315, you know, the acceleration of that is determined on the force I'm applying. Okay. Now, if I'm doing 405 and I'm not applying 405 pounds of force, the reason for that is simple because I'm not applying, you know, 405 pounds of force, it's not gonna move the acceleration.
acceleration is going to be zero because you know the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force applied. Now we're going to transfer over to another law. Please know this one. So the first law, law of inertia states that an object at rest tends to stay at rest and an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force. So in weightlifting, lap pull downs, the machine's weight stack remains still until you start pulling the bar down. And when you release the bar, it returns to its initial position due to the force of gravity. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering why we're so calm nonchalant right now just take a look just at this to check out the scenery take a look at the scenery real quick like is there really anything to worry about guys now Not our our lovely teacher mix perez actually trusted us to you know stay out here we could actually leave right now but our teacher trusted us to not go nowhere and that's a very beautiful thing. I could jump right over that right now. We're not going to do that, though. There's I'm nothing not going to do that. Though. Now, before we transition to these bloopers, I just want to remind you guys for one thing. You know, just stay strong, stay safe, stay healthy, you know. Listen to Newton. He knows his stuff. Bye, guys. Where, where's our videos at? We're going to keep we're gonna keep this in the bloopers. We could keep that in the bloopers. Bloopers! Keep going. And so, like, for a deadlift. So, actually... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we actually we can't freestyle this. And then um I'm, um So what are the three laws? Don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is really uh, bothering me, Chris. Right? So we got <laughs> You're not gonna distract me from the greater goal. Um So we got the law of what? We have the law of <laughs> The law of uh, equal and opposite reaction. That's not oh. what it's called. That's not what it's called. That's not what, that's not what it's called. Yeah. All right, we're working on fidgeties what right the, now. What are the two other ones? Uh, if anyone knows how to solve this, what please are the two let other it, ones? If anyone knows how to solve this, let us know in the comments. Action. Oh. There is an equal wait. or opposite reaction. Wait. Oh, I didn't do anything. I keep thinking I'm doing something that I'm not. And those are Newton's three laws. All right, you know it is what it is, y'all. That's, uh, those are the laws. First, the, second, third. Hit the gym if you want to learn more about Noon's laws. You feel me? Get strong. Hit the gym either way. <laughs> hit the gym either way, actually. You don't even, I don't even know who Newton is. Welcome to the end of the video. It's me, Chris May. I'm currently editing right now. And I reached the end and I was like, I want to I wanna give thanks. First and foremost, I want to give thanks to Mix Perez for making this class easy. I, going into it, I thought it would just be really hard because physics is intimidating. Oh. Um, I'm not really great at math and they've done an incredible job at teaching this class in a way that is interactive and fun and thorough. And a lot of teachers don't have the ability to do that, especially young teachers um, in my experience. They're amazing. I love it. I also give credit to Jahir and Zane for also being part of the project. Zane for providing the, the information and being part of the video and also to here for speaking on it. That's all, that's all I wanna say. I hope you guys do good on the final and that's the end. Thank you for listening.